Mother of Divine Providence School acknowledges the impact of COVID-19, causing the interruption of the formal educational system in the country. More challenges in the effect of the uncertainties brought by the COVID-19 pandemic are most likely to occur in the succeeding days, months, or term. MDPS, however, believes that education must continue irrespective of the current situation. Amid the crisis, MDPS will continue to provide quality education and character formation through MDPS Curricular Alternative Resources and E-Learning System, or MDPS CARES, where students are engaged to meaningful learning experiences while they are at home. With MDPS CARES, the school will remain truthful and responsive to its vision, mission, and goals of producing graduates who are persons of character, competence, conscience, compassion, and commitment, without compromising the student's health. MDPS CARES intends to deliver distance learning through online and offline modes, where students are guaranteed to learn the most essential competencies for lifelong learning and holistic development. Key offerings Student instruction will come in two forms, the synchronous online sessions, and the asynchronous activities that may be conducted online or through printed materials. Synchronous online sessions are scheduled for each subject where the teacher facilitates discussion of a lesson and related activities in real time. These synchronous sessions are interactive, hence students' participation is required. An asynchronous session is allotted after each synchronous online session. Online instruction and activities will be coursed through the school's official learning management systems, Google Classroom for the preschool, and the CLE or Collaborative Learning Environment for the grade levels 1 to 12. Instructions given online are teacher-made activities or lectures that may be accomplished by the students within the given schedule. Printed activities may come in the form of textbooks, worksheets, or handwritten exercises that the students will accomplish. These materials may be dropped off or picked up in the school premises by a parent on a predetermined schedule. Learning Management Systems and Hardware Mother of Divine Providence School will use the following learning management systems. Collaborative Learning Environment of Phoenix Aerolinks for the grade levels 1 to 12, while the preschool levels will use Google Classroom. All synchronous online instruction are done through Zoom. With MDPS CARES, students of different levels need to be equipped with materials that will help them accomplish tasks. Students may use a desktop, laptop, tablet, iPad, or a smartphone as long as this gadget can perform the following. Connect to the internet with a minimum speed of 5 Mbps. Join and host video calls and conferences. Take pictures, record audio and videos, download applications relevant to the learning activities, and download and upload files, images, or other forms of media. For grades 3 and up, devices should also be able to open, access, and edit office documents such as Word Processor, PowerPoint, Excel, etc. Open PDF file formats and edit photos and videos. Students should also have earphones or headphones with a functional microphone. For printed and other materials, each level is given a list of books required for their subjects. Additional printed materials will be attached to the textbooks that will be dropped off and picked up by parents or guardians in the school premises. Students may be required to have learning journals or notebooks in specific subject areas. Other additional materials like calculators, compass, measuring equipment, periodic table, or maps will be discussed by respective subject teachers. A list of these materials may also be downloaded in the MDPS Facebook page. Learning coaches are required for the preschool levels. Students from grades 1 and 2 are also highly encouraged to be guided by learning coach. Students from grades 3 and up are expected to study individually during the online classes. 
the Learning League. With the different modes of delivery available under MDPS Cares, the balance between synchronous and asynchronous activities and the use of online and printed materials is considered. Screen time for synchronous and asynchronous activities are scheduled. While both activities happen daily, more time is allotted for synchronous activities in preschool and in grades 1 and 2. In grades 3 and up, more time is allotted for asynchronous activities to give students a chance to learn at their own pace and give them ample time to do tasks independently. The daily screen time in different levels was carefully planned based on the learner's attention span, needs, and the coverage of the essential competencies they need to learn. A copy of the class schedule of your children may be downloaded together with a list of materials from the MDPS Facebook page. Student Assessment Given the current structure, the grading assessments and system is modified yet reflective of the student's progress and achievement. The assessment process is holistic with emphasis on formative or developmental purpose of quality assuring student learning. However, assessments will be less objective but more authentic through performance-based activities. Students will not be ranked for their performance this school year. Students' performance will be rated as Advanced, Proficient, Approaching Proficiency, and Developing. Co-curricular and extracurricular activities. Values integration will remain a significant part of the academic instruction. The school core values and sub-values are part of the discussion in the synchronous activities and they are practically applied in asynchronous activities. Values integration in academic instruction is deemed important especially in situations like this when teacher has no personal contact with students and time is limited in monitoring students' behavior. Selected school organizations will remain in MDPS cares. Students, even on a distance, have to exercise social responsibilities. The school organizations will be a venue for students' collaboration, especially in conducting outreach activities and community services. The school will continue to offer STEM Engine, Student Body Organization, and the MDPS Media Group. Online recollection and other religious activities will be sustained in support to the spiritual growth of our students. Our students will be given a chance to serve and help those who are in need through alternative outreach programs. They do not need to visit certain areas physically, yet in some other ways, they can extend their helping hands. Student Services Homeroom or guidance period is scheduled for a class moderator or guidance counselor to meet the class and perform synchronous activities meant to form students' character and address students' needs and concerns, especially on coping mechanism during this time of COVID-19. Virtual individual interview and group counseling with a guidance counselor or class moderator will also happen to address students' personal concerns or problems. The Educational Media Center will provide assistance to teachers and students through the use of different open educational resources.